Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, Researchers, Delegate, Ladies and Gentlemen, it was a privilege and honor to, for me to chair the ministerial segment of Fourth Ministerial Conference on Sarbrook, held from 14 to 17 uh, December 2021. I would like to briefly present the outcome of the conference here today at the 17th, 8th session of the Commission. The conference developed again challenge in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic and call upon stakeholders to further intensive effort to address the region sustainability performance and enhance resilience to the future crisis after two years of the disruption, the supply chain, transport connectivity and mobility caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The conference also discussed strategic for scaling up sustainable transport initiative in Asia and the Pacific, as well as a review pathway toward a vision and resilient transport and the logistic network and environmentally sustainable transport system, as well as safe and inclusive transport and mobility. The ministerial conference culminated in adoption of the Ministerial Declaration on Sustainable Transport Development in Asia and Pacific and Region Action Program for Sustainable Transport Development in Asia and Pacific in 2022-2026. The conference has also decided to conference the next Ministerial Conference on the Transport in the 2026 to evaluate the implementation of the region action program and to consider a future program of work. The adoptive region action program for sustainable transport development in Asia and Pacific 2022-2026 identify seven priority area as follow regional land transport connectivity and logistic maritime and interregional transport connectivity digitalization of transport low carbon mobility and logistic urban transport road traffic safety and inclusive transport and mobility ministerial declaration and regular action program are fully aligned with the 2030 agenda for the sustainable development and also support the theme of this year commission session a common agenda to advance sustainable development in the asia and pacific on behalf of the conference i welcome and count on the continued cooperation of the Commission and its members to our collective effort toward development of sustainable, inclusive, as well as uh, resilient transport system and share service in the, our region. Indonesia has submitted a draft resolution on the implementation of ministerial declaration on the sustainable transport development in Asia and the Pacific and was reviewed by informal working group on draft resolution. Therefore, I seek support of member of the Commission for its adoption. Thank you for chair.